Yeah. Put me in the okay. mood. Y'all know what it is. It's your boy DJ Waffles on the check in www.b100radio.com. And I'm back with the beautiful Portia Ferguson on deck. And we got her record <laughs> on. She wanted that Road James permission. It is here on b100radio.com. What, tell me what do you like about tell me what do you like about that record? What? <laughs> What I like about it. Yeah, because he he's talking kind of crazy. He's like, oh, give you that green light. I'm like, well, what? Oh, easy now, easy now, easy now, easy, easy. But he's asking easy. for permission. That's what I like about it. He's asking for permission. Yeah. Like, I don't know if he asked for permission. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you would like a guy to ask for permission. You you of like? Of course, to ask you have to ask. You don't. You know, you gotta keep it nice. All right, she's being, she's being politically correct. Yeah, you got to keep my fans that's actually tuned in and they're listening <laughs> because cameraman was just trying to just try and try to try to step in. Cameraman was like, "How at your boy." <laughs> <laughs> so, so listen, man. Tell us, tell us about this this big show. Let's get into um, the having the have nots. That's why I thought you was always dangerous because um, I got turned on to the having the have nots, right? And I watched oh the TV God. show uh, and you were actually like kidnapping the man. Love, right? Period. Point blank. It's um, it's really good. Right. You know, you have to. Well, my method is I kind of sort of like to. Sometimes you don't have that time to get prepared, right. so I have to like channel my training, right. which will you know tri trickles back to uh, right. Juilliard, Dwayne Boyd, like a whole lot big, of people. Big money places. Yeah, right. yeah, I, yeah. I can't yeah. Even to go to places like that. <laughs> yeah, uh, Second City. So it's just like you have to do that and remember what you've been taught, mm -hmm. remember what you what you have been trained to do, right? And you have to go in there and give it your all. Like even if you don't, like a lot of times I play I play characters that do not relate to me at all. Okay. So I have to channel, but I do have experiences from, you know, being in high school, knowing someone who was like that, or, you know, I would channel them, like, knowing someone. It's always nice to channel someone that you have previously known, mm -hmm. you know, to channel that's in some of you, you don't think that's kind of hard? Because if I was in, like, these guys that's in the room right now, if I was to channel them, I think I'd be weird as hell. Like, if I was a channel cameraman, channel him, <laughs> channel Steve, right? I think I'd be a little crazy. And then channel Deb, it was like, I'll just be, like, like really, really weird. So, it, it just would be hard. So, how do you how do you do that? Like It's only hard when you had a tough experience with it. Right. Like, if I had, like, a, a bypass experience mm -hmm. that I'm over it, it's not hard at all. You know, but it's only hard if you're still kind of sort of dealing with that situation mm -hmm. and you have to channel it in your new work and right. you're like I don't feel like going there so it takes you to a place where sometimes it can sort of be hard to come out of right so let me let me let, let we gonna play a game quick fast okay we gonna play this game called DJ Waffles have and have not mm -hmm. so you can either have it or you can have not okay. so it's either it's either or I like this you know what I'm saying yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right so listen let's see um, your purse in the morning. Everything that's in your purse, have or have not? Have. Mayonnaise? Not. Um, music? Have. Uber? Have. And you got it. So you, you, got, you got Uber. So you ride with me. Should we both ride Uber? I thought you said have not. So once I left the show, I could ride with you home. So you got home but, all right, that's not going to work. All right, so social media? Have. Mm, dating? Not. <laughs> Stocks just went up. So look, look, look at cameraman. He's like, I'll let your boy. <laughs> so um, let me see. Um, eyelashes. Have. <laughs> mm, Mac makeup? Um, I'm wearing Color You Cosmetics, so right now not. <laughs> All right. Lipstick? Have. All right, let me ask you this. now. Now that we talk about the lipstick and stuff like okay. that, is it is it days that is it days that you like to go outside like natural, like just shake all the stuff? Because I know you got to get up and you know you like a public figure, so people got to see you out in the streets and stuff like that. Is it mm -hmm. days that you really like to get up and natural, throw your hand in a ponytail and just be like I'm hitting it all today? the time? That's why when I have those days and somebody's like, hey, let's go out, I'm like, I'm going out, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know. But when I'm around people that I know, I'm always like that. Like this right here is, is just what cameras really. <laughs> okay, so any other time we just catch you with some sweatpants on, probably from Definitely. Victoria's Secret, some track sneakers on, Definitely. ponytail, just hitting it. 
Definitely. All right, cool. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now you already now. said it. Now no, you already said it. You got to do it. You got to do it. Ain't nothing to it. You already made me a backup dancer, okay? Oh, uh, listen. So now that's what I said. See, 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 it was, see, it, it was, it was strategic. So because if I got you to come in and be as the dancer, you'd probably be like, damn. And Waffles is the DJ, and B's gonna be the rapper. It makes us a treat. But you got, let me tell you, it works. You got to get the crowd so hype. So you got to be standing on a DJ podium like, no, no, one, I'll, two, no, no, three, I'll get see, it, no, see, chicken noodle soup. Oh, no, see, we no. should see what you, you have to know how to I'll, do no, it. Listen, you gonna cannot be, be listen, the DJ if you don't know how I'm to gonna do gonna it. I'm going to stand on the turntables. This is what I'm saying. I'm not going to DJ. Who wants to DJ and just be chilling? I'm going to stand on top of the table. And chicken noodle soup. Why wouldn't I? That's right. Well, we're going to practice today. We're going to make sure you got it right. It ain't too often that we out here. So today that we're yeah, here, no we're going to make sure DJ Waffle gets it right. Okay. All right. All right. Can we agree to that? We, we agree to that. I'm going to do it before I got show. you on Periscope. We got you on, on .com, BE100radio.com. Y'all all heard him tell you. I will do He's it. chicken noodle super before I'm, the I'm, night's over. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm Great. Do it. So, all right, B, you know, when you, when you, when you did the um, chicken noodle soup, you had some, you had some issues in your life or whatever, stuff like that, which you, right. you had to deal with. How was, like, the hiatus to come into this point where you stand right now? Like, to go through all the stuff like that, you wake you wait for another bigger record, to actually push you where you, where you once was, or further? Well, I actually, I never wait for a bigger record. When right. we did chicken noodle soup, it wasn't like I just made that one record and mm -hmm. then it got hot. Like, we built, we created a buzz. Like, right. we made other records before that. I had a record with Tiana Taylor, Boy, You and Me. Mm -hmm. I had a record with ASAP Ferg. I had records with other people because we were from Harlem and we, me and Webstar were actually like the hottest thing out of Harlem. Mm -hmm. So every artist that's popping now, we worked with. Right. So we did other songs, Tone Wild, that was before Chicken Noodle Soup. Mm -hmm. And then as we were making all these records, we just started creating a bigger buzz. Mm -hmm. And then Chicken Noodle Soup just hit. So mm -hmm. I don't ever think, oh, I'm going to just sit here and wait. But mm -hmm. like, this record is the record, this record is the record. I just feel like you put out a lot of records, and now the fans will pick. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Right. So I'm just making more music. Like, I never waited for the next hit, like, oh, I want to get another hit. I'm just like, I make quality music. So they're going to fuck with whatever's hot. Mm -hmm. So now, just tell us, because obviously you two guys have a great relationship, and you said that you was reaching out on um, Instagram to me and stuff like no, that. No, I was saying, I was hypothetically speaking, like, okay. if I was reaching out. Right. Yeah, she was calling, she got my number directly. Yeah, I went and ran down on her. So, she so ran down on my friends. She ran down on my man. Yeah. She did what Husband, she had to do. Husband, friends, yeah. with everybody. Yeah. But that's yeah. the irony in it, you see what I'm saying? Because it's like, when you get artists like that that actually come up to you, because some people you have to be honest, you have to tell them, like, bro, listen, your music is not good. Yeah, absolutely. You need, to, you need to work on it, but right. with a person of a stature, okay. what have you seen in her to be like, yo, this is what I'm going to be with you. Behind. When Bianca first came to me, I, what I thought, I was actually on tour with Missy at the time, mm -hmm. and I said, she's good. I said, but it's been five years. I haven't mm -hmm. heard anything since Chicken Noodle Soup. Right. right. So Which, I wasn't. I don't mean, to control. That's no. what everyone said, but yeah. it's not that. It was only chicken noodle soup. Is that that's, on, that's the only thing that, that the, yeah that's the only thing I picked up, and it was with the label, and it was worldwide. Mm -hmm. So as you're grinding, you might not have the outlets for everybody to hear stuff. Only like your town or your hood would hear stuff. Right. But New York radio don't really play New York artists. So, so how you ain't gotta worry about that no more. So, that's what I'm saying. so how would this. how would someone like her or anybody else hear what you're really doing? Right. And but Bianca impressed me because when I finally did, I knew that she was talented then. When I finally got in the studio with her, the minute I walked in, I heard a banger. Right. She she, she had it strategically planned for me to walk in <laughs> and she had wow. a banger. She was in the booth and she was banging it out. And I'm like, oh, this is crazy. Right. I listened. She was casted for the show. And it felt like if I want to see anybody win, especially on this show, I want to see her win. So even helping manicure for the show was something that was important right. to me. And she um, she was super humble and took the advice, and that's what got us here. She has some amazing records, which we're going to play for you guys. Mm -hmm. She spits out music that, I mean, literally we did probably within the last month or so, 14 records, two months, and they're, every single one of them are crazy. I put out four, like, all right, and I'm gonna, not just saying that because it's No, 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 I'm really right. not, because I've, I've worked with some of the great. I worked with Missy, I worked with Busta, I worked with 50. You name it, at Violator, I probably worked with them, and then even a the diplomat, so I can hear good music. Right. I know good music. Mm -hmm. And um, I want the crowd to help me pick where I want her single. So I said, I'm going to release four of these records. Mm -hmm. Of the four records, it was like a split. That's fire. Then I put out the next one. That's even crazy. I put out the next one. That's even crazy. So the response has been so crazy right. that I just put out all four records. Like, we're going we to let these four records go, and we're going to see what happens. We're still trying to we put out, We put out the records two weeks, two and a half weeks ago, and the numbers are going crazy. Right. We're on this radio. I haven't gotten to know by any radio station yet. Right. So we moving. I'm happy. 
Man, listen, I appreciate it to be like one of the one of the first DJs in the city of Atlanta to actually yep. uh, get the record because I hashtag Mr. I get it first. I like to get these yep. records first and let the world hear these records. So what's what's the what's the goals now? Because like you're working like super, you're working like super hard and it's, and I'm actually proud of you and I want you to actually know that you're you actually you. showing the world greatness. You know what I'm saying? Because you could you could show the world that I've had I had times that I stopped. Right. And my train can keep on going regardless yeah. regardless of the weather it could be raining it could be snowing and I'm still gonna keep on I'm going. Still gonna clear it out. That, see. Bam. Bam. See this is what I'm saying. See, see, you know I still have that in the tuck. She, see, listen, I'm, you just getting that I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting, it, I'm getting it mentally. So we can go, we can go into this first. So introduce this record to the world. It's whatever. Oh. And tell everybody about it. It's whatever. Quick. One of my favorite records of the ninth year project. I guess we could say the fourth quarter because it's one of the four we drop. It's whatever. It's crazy. This is the single we go with first. Y'all heard it here first on B100 Radio. It's your boy DJ Waffles on the check in. www.b100radio.com. Hey. Can you turn it up in here? Yeah. You're about to turn it down. Soon as that, soon as that come through, 
We gonna get that. We gonna get that on. Mm-hmm. That's going crazy. Jacque, once again, I just wanted to say, man, listen. I appreciate you supporting the station, and I want to send you some love for getting that deal with E1, man, and keep pushing that record. I'll make sure we're going to try to get and that make record. make sure them pieces keep hitting. Yes, definitely. Pieces hit. He know how that road work be. Definitely. Definitely. All right, bro. We appreciate you calling in. Bye, John. So, so listen. This is what see. This is what people need to understand. A lot of a lot of uh, a lot of New York records have surfaced their way to my desk, and I've got a chance to play a lot of records like. A lot of rap records, a lot of chinks records, a lot of front um, designer records. Like I had panned like four months ago before they even caught the wave. I was already, I was already on it. So that's why I say like, yeah, you see what I'm saying. So hoping you catch it. You see what I'm saying. So by y'all even coming up here and y'all giving me this record, it, it means a lot to me. Like I don't do it for cool folks. You see what I'm saying. Just to be on a show, a couple pictures. Not do it because I know that it's people gonna listen to me yeah. when y'all leave. And I you appreciate that these days it doesn't seem like. A lot of the DJs are into breaking records. No. They're into those records where you can get the payoff. We know Nicki's hot. We right. know Wayne. We know exactly. Drake is killing exactly. it. Exactly. What about those artists that's coming up that don't have, that's you know, what I'm saying. That's they what don't I'm have saying. the pull. They don't have the radio team. They don't have the brown paper bag. It's artists out here like that that's grinding and like that, that's super talented, years. but they just don't have the outlet. And I appreciate DJs like you that give them that outlet mm-hmm. and that chance. And that you, I even appreciate Deb because. There's that, y'all don't know Deb, Mama Deb is running this, she's a little behind this. Mm-hmm. But it's people like her that really understand breaking new artists. Mm-hmm. And that's why I appreciate her background in this business because she understands what it takes. Some of the artists just need a shot. Mm-hmm. Especially that the money comes mm-hmm. where we can go and, and, and pay for the promo tour and do all that kind of stuff. But in the interim, you need a DJ or you need a team that just believes without that money. Without the the huge, you know, following yet, because mm-hmm. they can help build you. And, you, you and know, I so appreciate crazy. that. And you know, so crazy because like my first tape was not my first tape was not too long ago, or whatever. And I did the cash down. We did like seven hundred thousand downloads in like seven seventy two hours. Whoa. You see what I'm saying? And that's like her first time dropping the tape. Me, my first time hosting the tape, doing it with her. So you just gotta think about it. It's, a, it's just about who you working with and how hard they mm-hmm. working out. Shout out to DJ Service Pack. I met them. I met them. The other night and they're like one of the biggest platforms in Atlanta mm. to break records and when I was leaving out he was like waffles let's let's break some new artists yes. you know what I'm saying he came to me and was like yo bro let's break some new artists mind you they got they connected with street execs two chains and all of them he came to me he was like yo I already see what you're doing let's break some of the new arts like her let's get their music up there because yes. a lot of people is just trained to what they what they actually well you hear. just gave me a new title of the dancer, I'm giving you a new title. <laughs> you the breaker. Yes. You are beyond the breaker. And the dancer. Heard it here first. You are the breaker. So when yeah. I come back to Atlanta listen. in about two weeks, listen, listen, my listen. record is gonna be broke. Listen, listen, I listen. want those seventy-two hundred thousand downloads. Listen, 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 listen to.